American farmers are facing a growing problem. Huge herds of pigs are invading their farms and causing widespread damage. Millions of acres of farmed lands were destroyed, costing farmers billions of dollars. This is how American farmers deal with giant wild boars attacking farms. In the Midwest, pigs are a big problem for farmers. In 2022, pigs caused an estimated $2.5 billion in damage to crops and livestock in the Midwest. They are so numerous that they're considered invasive species. These pigs are a cross between a domestic pig and a wild boar, and they can weigh up to 700 pounds. Their destructive power is considered very terrible. Every type of crop they see is seriously destroyed. Not only is feral boar trapping an effective control measure, but it is also a method that requires careful planning and compliance with regulations. When it comes to trapping pigs, location is a key. Traps should be placed in areas where wild boars are frequent, usually places with abundant food and water sources. By choosing these prime locations, your chances of success will increase significantly. An attractive bait is very important to lure wild boars into the trap. Popular bait options include corn, cassava, or meat. The bait must be placed in a position that can lead pigs into the trap, ensuring they cannot easily access the bait from the outside. The trap must be tested regularly to ensure its functionality and prevent unintended harm to other wildlife. Regular inspection also allows for timely removal of trapped pigs. Taking these steps is necessary for an effective and humane pig trapping procedure. But it is equally important to consider the safety and legal aspects of pig trapping. Those participating in trapping should equip themselves with necessary safety equipment, including helmets, gloves, and eye protection. These precautions are important in case of unexpected situations rising during trapping. Wild boar trapping must comply with legal regulations to ensure trapping is done responsibly. Anyone setting traps must follow these regulations, such as obtaining appropriate permits and adhering to seasonal restrictions and area limits. When a pig becomes trapped, it is important to know how to handle it safely and humanly. This includes using humane methods for anuthiasia if necessary and following guidelines for transporting trapped pigs. Compliance with these safety measures and legal requirements not only protects the health of those involved in trapping, but also ensures the ethical treatment of captured pigs. Trapping feral hogs has emerged as an effective strategy for controlling their populations in the Midwest.
However, it is imperative that trappers adhere to regulations and safety guidelines to avoid unintended harm and ensure a humane approach to trapping. <laughs> Harvesting wild boar is an important activity for population control and sustainable use of this valuable resource. To ensure the success of this operation, proper preparation and safety measures are essential. Before embarking on harvesting wild boar, individuals must be fully prepared. This involves equipping yourself with the necessary safety equipment such as helmets, gloves, and goggles. Safety precautions when handling these potentially dangerous animals. The importance of safety equipment cannot be overstated as it significantly reduces the risk of accidents during harvesting. Wild boars can be fiercely aggressive when caught in traps. Therefore, Harvesters must exercise extreme caution when releasing animals from these tithers. This step not only requires physical dexterity, but also a deep understanding of wild boar behavior. Responsible use of wild boar resources highlights the harmony between nature and human needs, emphasizing the importance of sustainable practices. According to the Illinois Department of Natural Resources, feral hogs and Illinois causes approximately $100 million in animal damage to crops and livestock. In 2022, the Illinois Department of Natural Resources issued licenses to more than 10,000 individuals to trap feral hogs in the state. Wild boars are famous for their rapid reproductive cycles. As early as five to six months of age, female pigs can begin to reproduce. Their ability to produce two to three litters per year further highlights their population growth. Each litter can have from six to 12 piglets. This exceptional reproductive ability makes feral pigs one of the most difficult invasive species to manage. The rapid reproduction of wild boars requires effective control methods Hunting is the most common method used to manage wild boar populations. Farmers often hire professional hunters to patrol their farms and cull these invasive pigs. There are many types of hunting equipment that are most widely used for hunting wild boars. Although hunting is effective, it also possesses certain risks to humans. Even though that is effective in hunting, but it is not without its drawbacks. Wild pigs have become the second most destructive invasive species in the United States, and that is precisely behind rodents. In 2022, they caused about $2 billion in damage to crops and livestock. These staggering figures highlight the urgent need for comprehensive control measures. Furthermore, a study conducted by Purdue University revealed that if the wild boar population is not controlled, their numbers could double every year. This exopotential growth possesses a serious threat to both agriculture and ecosystems. The impacts of uncontrolled wild boar populations are far-reaching and require immediate attention. The abundant breeding patterns of feral pigs, coupled with their invasive behavior, 
make them a formidable challenging in the United States. While hunting remains the primary method of control, it is important to consider the economic and environmental impact of these creatures. Striking the balance between conservation and control is a complex issue that requires the collaboration of the agricultural community. Wildlife agencies and researchers develop effective sustainable strategies to manage the threat from wild boars. If you do know how to deal with these wild species, please leave a comment down below in the comment section to let us know. And for now, allow me to invite you to watch the rest of the video. On average, each female wild boar 